Seque sequential starters are sometimes required uh, in scenarios where we start one device before we can start a second device. We're starting off with a normal direct online starter, overload, emergency stop and the stop. Start with its latching contact which connects to MC1 or contactor number 1. But we add a second normally open contact that is driven by contactor 1 which then feeds into a second branch of a direct online starter. Now what we can see here is when we supply power and we push the first start button this contactor over here will activate. When it activates it closes the latching contact which maintains it with power but it also closes this contact which supplies power to this branch. Now this branch will only become active once I push switch number two. When I push switch number two contactor two will activate which in turn will activate this latching contact. This is effective in the sense where we've got multiple conveyors and we need to start the first conveyor before we can start the second conveyor. Now sometimes we can replace this process instead of having it being manually activated or if we want a delay between the two activations then we can introduce this type of configuration where we introduce a timer into the circuit this timer once it receives power will start running once it reaches its predetermined time it will then close that contact and that in turn will allow us to start running our second output. This can be replaced, the start button can be replaced by this contactor and then this contactor which is driven by that one which in then which then will allow the first contactor to activate along with the timer and once the second timer activates it'll activate the automatically activate the second sequence in our system. 